Hello, today we're going to show you about the Davis Pro Pet washer. Uh, as you can see, it's mounted on the wall. And this is something you can do yourself. My husband did this. And um, it has the tubes that go down into four different gallons of shampoo or conditioner, whatever it is you want to wa use for your wash. It uh, also comes with this type of a nozzle, which is awesome for big dogs, uh, Shelties, Collies, uh, any of your double-coated breeds. I definitely recommend using this. Since I don't do big dogs anymore, uh, it's too Dagon powerful for a small dog like a poodle. Um, it'll just plaster them against the wall. So I instead use a regular garden hose nozzle which has different settings on it um, and it of course feeds into the machine as well your water source is also fed into the machine so everything is coming out of the machine whether it's rinse water or your shampoo or conditioner um, it comes with meter tips one set for each hose and this is uh, what actually um, uh, feeds the soap into the machine and the different ratios are um, used with different meter tips. Uh, the openings are, some of them are really big, some of them are really small. The meter chart tells you exactly um, which color meter tip to use for like a ratio of 4 to 1, 8 to 1, 16 to 1, whatever. And uh, so actually it comes with just everything here. Now I use tin foil around the shampoos um, in order to keep them from drying out because there would probably be some evaporation there because um, the hose doesn't fit completely into the opening. Um, I also labeled my uh, machine so that I know uh, which number to dial um, you know so I get exactly what I want. These little labels come off if I ever change the shampoo. Um, I've got conditioner, hypoallergenic, regular shampoo, and flea shampoo, which is the most four regular uh, types of shampoos and conditioners that I use. So it is labeled up there so I can see it a little bit better. I have older eyes, so I can't see as well as I used to. And our first little doggy here, this is Leo. Hi, Leo. Leo's going to be our little demonstration dog. Um, I have, it's on a rinse cycle right now. I'm going to turn it to bath because it takes a little while for the shampoo to feed through and whatnot. By the time you get the animal wet, then shampoo will come. I've got it set on three, which is regular shampoo, and then I will also turn the dial to one so that I can get a conditioner after I rinse. Hopefully I can do this one-handed. It might be a little bit difficult. I don't have anybody to film for me, so... Okay, and of course I have it set on warm, warm and cold, so or a combination. I um, already have shampoo coming out. You can't tell since he's a white dog, but I can smell it. So, <laughs> um, and you can all use any kind of shampoo, you know, that you want. It doesn't have to necessarily be Davis. I'm not saying that Davis is the best shampoo in the whole world. Um, you know, it's a great shampoo, and I have used it. Uh, basically right now what I've got up here is some best shot um, I've also got uh, bark the basics um, is basically what I'm using right now on him it's the Hawaiian white ginger which I love the smell of um, I'm not trying to advertise shampoo or anything because everybody has their own preferences but um, I do like um, bark the basic shampoos I like best shot shampoos. Um, the thing about this hoe, this particular nozzle, it does get down to the skin. It does a really good job. You can set it on a different setting so that it really shoots down to the skin. If you got a dog that's got real scaly or dandruffy skin, um, you set it on a higher, you know, more forceful setting, and it's going to shoot that shampoo down through there, that coat, a whole lot better. Now, I'm not getting a real good job done here on the face because I don't have both hands, but um, kind of gives you an idea that, you know, you can get this. And what's really nice 
about this is it's warm water and warm shampoo. So, uh, whereas I used to have a recirculating pump, and I didn't like it for the simple point that the shampoo would, uh, and the water uh, that sits in the tub would um, get cold. And uh, I don't like cold water baths. <laughs> so, anyway, get it getting real soaked up real good. And I have to put the hose down in order for me to switch to rinse. And now nothing but water, regular water, will come through. And there you have it. The next thing you would be doing is maybe conditioning, and then you would switch your number to one. You dial it to one, turn it to bath, do the conditioner, switch it back to rinse, and rinse the dog. And voila, you're done. Thanks for watching. Bye, Leo.